Hi guys, today's video is going to be my actual morning routine. And from here we're in real time because it's time for makeup and I want to show you how quickly I can actually get ready in the morning. Um, obviously. Does anybody else have a thousand alarms on because they won't get up? Um, the Pixie Rose Flash Balm I've been using as my primer. I need something that's quite moisturising underneath my makeup because my skin's been quite dry and dehydrated. Um, and just kind of like not very easy to work with. And this stuff is nice. I just put myself in the eye. Now, the um, foundation of choice right now is the Effaclar Duo Unifiant. I believe that's how you pronounce it, this stuff from um, La Roche-Posay. That's what I've been really enjoying recently um, because, again, my skin has just been playing up a little bit. Occasional breakouts, but more than anything, I'm trying to apply stuff and it just looks dry and it settles. I think I have a whole video coming up at some point about the way you apply makeup um and what looks useful and what doesn't because over the years I've tried so many different products and it's not even necessarily what you use but it's how you apply it for years people would give me a hard time about applying my makeup with my hands but I'm telling you you get a way more natural finish and if you have one of those days where everything's just looking a little bit rubbish and your skin is just you know it's settling into pores you just can see the makeup try applying it with your fingertips because it makes such a difference uh, this is the bobby brown corrector which feels even as you put it on it kind of feels like it's going to be dry and you would imagine it would be a really heavy thing but it's not at all this is actually a very deceptive product and i can even blend it out with a brush like, this is a very soft brush and that is a very kind of stiff formula and you would not imagine you could blend it but you can it's really really nice and i've been using this as my main concealer squeeze for a while it's just the nicest stuff i think then for eyes i'm gonna do like one thing because obviously i've got my tattooed on brows which later on today i'm actually having redone because they're fading low and i've got my um individual lashes on at the moment and really this is like the quickest ever i'm gonna do a little bit of black powder i'm using the naked palette just on my lash line i don't necessarily do this every single day but i thought i would include it since i'm not doing mascara or anything just to show you an eye step if i was going to do anything at all day to day like i could do like some proper stuff on a night time but I don't really do anything other than maybe this for work um then I've got this Elizabeth Arden what is this called cool glow cheek tint um or the cheek tint oh no cool glow cheek tint and it's called pink perfection and it looks like this I was not sure whether I was gonna like this when I tried it for the first time but it is amazing oh I think that's quite a lot um, it's kind of what I imagined the Daniel Sandler watercolour blush to be. It's like a wash of colour, um, very, very easy to work with and blend out. And it's just so pretty. It's quite expensive. I feel like it's like £25-ish. I think that's around the, the price point. Um, but it's just really, really nice. And when I've worn this recently, people have commented on my blush. Um, and I don't know if that's because I don't usually do a lot of blush, especially in the apple for my cheeks. And I feel like because it is such a kind of natural flush, I can get away with it more. But people have actually commented about my blush, which is insane. Because that is, like, not something that happens. And then, I don't know what is going on with my phone right now. I've had, like, a thousand vibrations. Then the Vichy Derma Blend, which I've spoken about at length. My camera's broken, so all of this that I'm looking at is upside down. So if I've been crooked, I'm sorry. Um, that I kind of just put everywhere. And at this point... There is strategy, because I will get it all over my black trousers. So I, like, have to strategically apply this. 
and this is what I do every day. This is like the closest I'm ever going to come to what the kids call baking. So while that's on, if I've got a minute, I might have a look to see, I think I've been quite diligent, if I've got any random hairs that need to be plucked. That is usually what I do. Um, although, like I say, I've been pretty good. You never know where there might be one. And the worst thing is you just feel one. You know when you're at your desk and you like feel I'm completely out of shot, I realise. But you know like when you're, when you're at your desk and you're like, you can feel something. That is the absolute worst. Because then you like, can people, have I been having conversations with people and they can just see a huge black hair coming out of my chin? What is it all about? Because I'm upside down, it's really difficult to tell whether or not I was in shot then, which I don't think I was. I'm using this different dry shampoo and I'm not happy about it. I usually only use Batiste and this is an Aussie one and it just feels like a hairspray. I don't think it's very nice. I think basically the dry shampoos I like are very powdery and the ones that say they leave no residue and all that like this, it kind of almost is like hairspray that you've got to leave to dry in your hair and then you rub it out and that gives you the, I'm not into it, I'm not into it, but that'll do because I feel like I'm already running late. Actually, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on. This is the cherry one from um, Glossier. I'm picking this because once I've done that whole powder thing, I think my whole face goes a bit white. It doesn't look great, like, from a just finished perspective, but it does look pretty good after about an hour or two when I would be getting a bit oily. And it just kind of absorbs it all. So, that is it, that is my, um, I'm gonna call it school run makeup because this is the absolute maximum makeup I would put on for the school run. But it's usually, this is me, I've got work today. True to form, my camera died. It's just an average day over here, guys. That's basically it, that's as much makeup as I would possibly wear for the school run. I probably would be more inclined to wear no makeup or just a little bit of base and concealer. Obviously the brows and the lashes are semi-permanent, so there's a reason that I did that. It saves me a lot of time. They were things that I would have taken a lot of time to do. Um, and especially brows, they're so sparse. And um, I'm really happy that I'm having them topped up today because it just, the lashes, I was never that interested in. That's a very, very recent development. But the, the brows, if you are so inclined, I would definitely say do your research and maybe think about it because it is it makes such a big difference to like my day-to-day -day getting ready time. Because it's a bit like having to apply liquid eyeliner. It's like, One's even, the other's even, one's even, the other's even, do you know what I mean? It's constantly topping up them till, till they match, um, if you had rubbish brows like I did. Uh, but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would very much like you to share your own real, actual morning routines with us in the comments. Um, and if you've got any other great products that you think are like really, really quick and effective, but really simple to use in the morning, please share those as well. And I will see you guys in my next one.